This is an update video on my dad's custom street glide. Just to show you guys uh, that it's coming along very nicely. Wanted to show you all, we'll do a, a walk around here. As you can see, my dad, he went ahead and uh, the wheels are now on the bike. That looks amazing. You see some of the body work is on the bike. <clears throat> Just need some paint work. That's coming very soon. You got the air ride system on the motorcycle right now. Don't worry about any loose wires that you guys see hanging. Uh, all of that will be um, hidden properly and taken care of. So cool to see this bike coming along. Yeah, it's beautiful. I Man, I tell you, the wheels, they really came out very nice. I like the design that my dad went with. Yeah, I mean, it's not over the top, man. I mean, everything is done, you know, classy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I mean, everybody, you know what? I respect and enjoy everybody, uh, everybody's decision on what they choose to go with. Mm -hmm. But for me, I mean, I'm not a spinning wheels type cat, so. <laughs> yes, sir. I hear you, right? <laughs> Just something that's clean, man, low. You know, I'm old school, man. Hell, I probably even own a damn low rider. Cause it's <laughs> of low, you know, rides that are sitting low, whether it's cars or bikes. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So, look, I'll give a quick rundown as well i know you did a walk around yep all of this stuff the um the tank the air compressor was just moved um to enable me to kind of move the bike around mm -hmm. now but there's a down tube that comes here so this will be mounted back up um to this down tube and then this will swing over to the instant up air tank okay this here because there's another down tube that goes here this will be mounted along that down tube. All the wires will, you know, be tied down to the upper rail. When I put that on, and um, we'll let you guys see some of the remaining parts. Cause right now it's just, uh, you know, the bags, side pieces. One bag is over there. I got the other bag in that box. So all of that needs to go to paint as well as the front fender. And the front fender was in the last video, so I'm oh, yeah. gonna pull that back out. Yep. But at this point, man, I mean, I'm ready to go to paint. Okay, yeah. So once that happens, um, I can put the bike completely together. Um, I even have the MRI stand on. I got my switches in place for my up down motion. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, so the air ride, there's no power to the air ride, but this would be the front, up, down, wow. rear, up, down, and then focus on that piece down here, mm -hmm. which is the MRI stand. Oh my goodness. All I gotta do is put the legs on it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, so. That looks like something futuristic, man. So what's gonna happen there is these joints are gonna go on. Okay. I'll probably have to put, um, I got another set of these mm -hmm. that'll be a little lower. Wow. But that'll end up being like that. Okay. And then I have some bottom caps that go in as well. So it won't be metal, metal to metal, on, you know. Yeah, that's awesome, metal man. Metal to the ground. But yeah, man, she's coming along. So everything I said I was gonna do and get in that first video, I have everything. Nice, nice. And what I mean by everything is here's my front chin spoiler. Okay. That's going to get painted. The fencing here is going to, you know, of course, be mounted in place. These are going to be cut out. I've got some lights that go in there. All right. As well. This here is a two-in-the-one side pipe. 
this is going to be going off for powder coating. We're going to get that to match up potentially with the chrome, uh, the black chrome. See that black chrome? Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, uh, make that happen. And if there's some issue, then I'll just go a gloss black. Yeah, it'll look nice. And that'll that'll look just as nice. Um, you know, as well. Okay. As you can see, these are the. Just give you some idea. Yeah. Can't butt it up too much because of. Yeah, the, the air tank, the way yeah, it's set up right now. In the way, but, <clears throat> you know, if you come around on this side. You yeah, that's going to look really nice. Oh, wow. You see how Dang. This butts up to it. Yeah. Wow. Almost looks like one complete unit. Yeah. That's going to look real clean. Yeah. Okay. And then the fender is going to come down and swoop down right along with this. Mm -hmm. And it will stand just a little further out. Oh, yeah, that back fender. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's, it's all going to come together. Yeah, I'm excited. The yeah. whole channel's excited for this build. Yeah, man. I know it's been a while since you posted, you know, on this. And I said, well, that would be a good, good time to... Kind of let everybody see what's what. What's yeah. Going on hey, can you explain uh, to them what you explained to me about your rake and the handlebar setup? Yeah. So the rake kit obviously has already been put on because that enabled, uh, you know, that front tire to be placed in there. Yep. Don't mind these wires that are hanging. These will all be, you know, secured to the brake line. This is for the ABS brake. Yep. And then once I put that fender in place, everything will be buttoned up but uh yeah the rake kit is on um this front nose is actually pointed a little up mm -hmm. which made the handlebars go back just a little bit yeah i like that and, you know, so that's pretty much man that looks real good the look there the little reflectors are coming off on the forks okay again want that clean look yes sir and uh, after that, man, then we start talking about sounds. <laughs> yeah, bump to bump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice sound system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it'll be some 10-inch woofers in the bags, uh, cicada uh, speakers. Okay. Uh, up here in the fairing. Wow. And I'm keeping the stock lid, so there's no paintwork that's needed on that because okay. those are already the same color. But going to put some cicadas in there, coaxials, those jokers sound good. Oh, okay. Get a couple of amps going with it, with a uh, DSP, which actually controls the amount of power going into, you know, different speakers. I see. And uh, that'll be the finish, finishing piece. Wow. She's dirty now, so don't mind. She's looking pretty clean to me. Don't mind that. <laughs> I mean, you see some dust on that tank, man. Yeah. Know, that is unlike me. Yes, yeah, sir. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. Man. It's a project in uh, process, and it, it is coming together. So this piece will also be powder coated. Wow. It'll sit like right here. Oh, my it's God. That down. is so cool. So it's a brass color right now, but it's going to be the sports chrome, the black chrome. Oh, yeah. That's going to look nice in the black chrome. Yeah, so that'll screw right down in there. And it'll, it's going to match wow. up. It's going to all match up together. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. That's cool. And just know, too, down the road, turbo. Oh, yes. Turbo and chain drive. The turbo... Um, what did I tell you? Cam. Cam. Yes. Go. Chain drive. Some more uh, horsepower. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you see the lights? Oh, those are the lights? Yeah. What? Ah, man, I've never seen a light set up like that. Yeah. And this thing is about ready to wow. go to paint. I mean, everything is smoothed and sanded out. Yeah. Um, Dang. You know, so it'll be a quick shoot. Yeah, that is a serious tail light setup. I love that. Yeah, so I got a different wire harness that's gonna go along the bone, the backbone. Okay. And plug into 
Oh wow, so they it's like a plug-in. Yeah, wow. a plug, it's a plug and play. Nice, no cutting and nothing. No, and then this is for the um you know the light uh -huh. for the uh the license plate bracket. Okay. Thing is uh top shelf. Yes sir. Top shelf. And uh I love to be able to show the finishing uh product on it. Oh yeah. Once everything is on and painted. Yeah, I can't wait until we are doing the video uh, showing the unveil, showing the finished look. And just a quick update as well. I know you probably have caught that Boosa in the background there. Oh, yeah. I've been going through that bike because while this one is down, at least I'll have something to ride. Clutch with um, heavy-duty springs in it. Okay. Because that rear end is much heavier than a stock, and I need that extra pressure. I previously had a, uh, what do you call that, an undercut transmission put in. So everything will be nice and tight as far as transitioning in and out of gear. The clutch is going to be right there, ready for it. Um, fresh plugs are in there. Wow. My lights have went out, so I had to get new HIDs. Okay. On. So everything is good, man. The only thing left to do is put the... Uh, Put some fresh brake pads on and put mm -hmm. that, uh, what is it, that fairing that's sitting on, over there. Oh, yeah, her, her side fairing yeah, back, on. Side back on. Oh, right yeah. Now. I'm out. Man, I tell you, I'm happy that you're giving her the love she deserves. Yeah. So she's still strong, man. Strong bike, but with fresh plugs and everything that I've done to her, she's going to be good. You know, I didn't realize it. The clutch wasn't right. Hadn't rode it in a good while, and it was spinning the last time I was on it, even on the highway. Mm -hmm. So if you really weren't seeing all the power this bike has. I see. Matter of fact, in one of your last, I think, well, you've done a number of different- Yeah, the last video I did was a full throttle video on that bike, right, yeah. Right. Well, the engine is a built engine. I heard, and I've seen some of them damn comments about, this that bike is slow. Well, it's mm -hmm. got a built engine. Mm -hmm. It was built for the track, but I turned it into a cruise you know, yep. uh, bike. But. Yeah, don't get it twisted, man. That engine is hot. Yep, it's yep, bigger, exactly. Bigger pistons and, you know, the whole bit. So nothing has been spared on that bike right there. Hold up. I don't even think you had told them about the nitrous setup. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yep, you got the nitrous I mean, setup on her. You can see it with the fairing on it, but, mm -hmm. but that's the spray. Yeah, the I completely forgot it, about that. Yeah, man, I mean, it's got, it's got a bunch of different hidden things in her. Yeah, so we'll put that... This one will be back together this weekend. And then okay. this one, probably, you'll probably be able to give on a quick update, man. It just depends on within the next couple of weeks. Okay. Maybe three weeks. I just don't know how quickly the turnaround will be where um, I'm taking, you know, all of my parts to be painted. It shouldn't be too long. I mean, it's not too much work that's needed at all on these parts. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Two Wheel Family. Um, uh, as my dad said, we will have the unveil video uploaded soon, showing this bike uh, in her finished state. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. Peace.